When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a princess when I grew up. In order to be a princess, I learned that there were some things you had to learn um, before that could happen. Namely, you had to have etiquette, table etiquette. So for all you princesses out there, pay attention. This is a napkin. <laughs> Um, it doesn't really matter what you do with it as long as it ends up on your lap because through the you know, like continental styles and stuff, it's just kind of um, yeah something that you immediately grab off the table. So there's a lot of variation in how in how uh, you'll find it. Starting off, I'm going to tell you why you need to uh, have good table manners. First of all, you don't want people to judge you. And um, they definitely will if you get to a formal event and you have no idea what you're doing. Second of all, it's really important to have like a safety um, mechanism that you can basically just revert to, um, especially when you're unsure of the situation. Um, on that note, we're going to be viewing everything through the lens of the continental style because it's a nice default. Uh, and basically, at some point, you're going to be at a formal event. And um, yeah, you're either going to pay attention to the speech or you're not going to know what you're doing and everyone's going to laugh at you. So pay attention. Now, setting the table. I'm going to be acting like we're hosting something here even though we're not because this is just a demonstration speech. The first thing that you're going to want to look at and put down is the dinner plate. This is what you'll be eating dinner off of. <laughs> Next, we'll go through the forks and spoons and stuff which I brought here in my handy holder. So um, a good rule of thumb is to work outside in for courses. So like, let's say for the salad fork, you would look to the far left. And since salad would be the first course, you'd work outside in. Now, salad fork goes to the far left. The um, dinner fork is, <laughs> is right here. And the dinner knife goes right here. You'll use the same knife for everything. Um, this is an extra fork that I don't need. Actually, it's not. This is the salad fork. This is the dessert fork. It'll go on the top of the left, boys. You'll have a soup spoon. You'll use it for soup. It's a spoon. You'll have a dessert spoon. It's the smaller one. It'll go kind of on the top, like right here. And uh, at this point, you might be wondering, hey, why would we have a salad fork um, but not a salad plate? Well. It's a salad plate, and you're going to eat your salad off of it using the salad fork. It'll go right here. This takes up a lot of room because people don't just know how to use one fork, but it's whatever. Um, they're they're kind of going to be putting the spoon wherever they are, not the spoon, the bowl for soup wherever they want. Um, I'm just going to put it right here for now. This is basically what you're going to sit down to if you are ever in rich company. <laughs> um, next, we're going to move on to glassware. The um, water glass, which, you know, this is now water, is going to be about one inch above the dinner knife. We'll say that's one inch. Um, your wine glass, it doesn't really matter where it goes, but it should be generally to the left um, above the, uh, the, the water goblet, they call it. Right now we have a pretty decent setup going. Um, I'm kind of proud of us, so good job, team. Now we're going to be moving on to how to hold utensils. This is in the continental style. Um, we'll use this guy. The, uh, you're going to hold your fork in your left hand, pointed downward. You're going to hold the knife in your right hand. Um, your index finger should be extended along the top of the blade. Um, <clears throat> you only have two hands, so this is all you really need to know. But you're also going to know how to you know, use soup and uh, eat soup, because sometimes people serve soup. Your soup will go right here. Um, if you're using a soup spoon, always do this thing. That's what it would look like if there were soup in it and I was eating some soup. Never do this, because you'll spill all over yourself and um, look like a fool. So when you want to get the last little bit of soup, it is actually um, considered acceptable to be like, Get the last little bit in, and you can kind of just uh, you, you know manhandle the bowl however you want until all the soup's gone. Put the soup there for now. So that's how you hold your stuff. We've been through knives, 
forks and spoons, which are, you know, <laughs> it's all the silverware you're really going to be using unless you're like in China or something, in which case it's a whole different thing. Um, when you're done, you have very specific things that you're supposed to do so that the waiters can tell what's going on. Um, if you're taking a break, you're going to put the knife like this, you're going to put your fork like this whatever for whatever course it is. So let's say you're done with the salad. Actually, let's say you're done with the dinner so we don't have to put the salad all the way over here. You're going to put it with the, uh, the prongs facing down. You can put it right here. Basically makes like a little skull and crossbones except with your meal. Let's say you're finished because the food is um, so good that you just ate it all so fast and it's just really, really great. You're just going to do this. Then whatever, again, of course you're, you're eating. Today I've taught you how to be a princess.